In our culture, being healthy means not being sick. During the pandemic, that definition has gone one step further. If we don't have COVID-19, then we are healthy. But is that really the definition of true health? We are raised to only search for the best in our lives, get the best education, to be able to get into the best college so that we can be the best at what we do, to be able to get the best job, to buy the best house, the best car, to find the best partner so that we can have the best children and raise them to be even better than us. While we strive to be the best in so many areas in our lives, why do we accept mediocrity when it comes to our health? We push and push and ignore the signals that things are not going so well inside. As long as something major is not happening with our health, there's always more room to push. Why are we trying to do all of this anyway? What is so important that we're willing to risk our health for it? We want to be happy. But everything that we do in search for that happiness takes us further away from it. Layers and layers of stress starts to form, building up anxiety, depression, increased blood pressure, diabetes type 2, lower immunity, premature aging. I wouldn't be being counterproductive here. I would say doing things backwards. For most people, they just don't know another way. But the seed of everything that we are searching for is already within each one of us, dormant, waiting to be awakened. When we turn our attention inwards, we start to remove layers and layers of stress, reversing the side effects of a chaotic life. Tools. We have tools that are going to take us beyond that, and it can go very, very fast. You will discover that health is not just absence of disease, but having our body and mind functioning to their full potential. If you're willing to become an inner explorer, I have the tools to show you how to blossom into the full potential of who you really are. Peace, joy, light and love.